What's up guys, Wholesome Joe, back with another video. Do you like the 3D print? Do you buy a lot of filament? Are you one of those people who go to Amazon Prime and search through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of listings and you can't decide which one to purchase? They're all different prices, they're all different brands of filament, PLA, PLA Pro, PLA Plus, all of these different things and everyone recommends different brands but what if I told you I've found the best and cheapest filament on Amazon Prime. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide. So if you're like me, you're probably on a budget. You're probably doing this in your spare time and you probably don't have tons of, of money to spend on hundreds of dollars worth of filament. You don't have money to spend on expensive brand name stuff and you probably are looking for the best deals. Now, I personally, when I go to Amazon Prime, I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for quality, and I'm also looking for what is the cheapest. So sometimes those things align, and some things, times they don't. In this case, I've spent a lot of time trying out different filament brands. I've used the expensive stuff all the way down to the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest. And to be honest with you, from what I've learned in my time and I've been 3d printing for four almost five years so if you want to know my experience as a 3d printer um, I have a lot of experience so I've tried all the different brands I've tried the expensive stuff and I've tried the cheap stuff I used to have a micro center that I live nearby and so I would buy filament directly from them they have the inland brand and I used to think that was the cheapest and I, you know I used to use that a lot because it worked and it was readily available to me but now since I have Amazon Prime I don't tend to buy the stuff from micro center anymore because I can get it for a lot cheaper and the filament tends to be about the same quality or even better and when you're looking on Amazon some people and you know this might not apply to everyone but some people just don't like going through and trying to decide there's so many choices there's so many options of things and different types of filaments you can buy and you can read all the reviews and there's going to be good reviews and there's going to be bad reviews because someone's had an issue with it no matter what it is there's always going to be at least someone who's had a problem with it and does that deter you from buying it well yes yeah, sometimes but in this case i think i have found what i would consider to be the best and cheapest filament on all of Amazon Prime. And the filament that I'm talking about is gonna be this three, how do you say this? 3D Hojor, Ho, Hojor. Um, it comes on this cardboard spool. It says joys and more on the spool. And it doesn't come in a box or anything. It just comes in a, in a, on a cardboard spool and it is uh, vacuum sealed in some pl in plastic wrap. Now, um, I used to think this was a bad thing and I used to not like these cardboard spools, but because I get so much of this stuff, it really is a non-issue. Um, I've used like 10 rolls of this stuff at this point and I have not had a single roll that was not great. So, um, and this stuff is only $11.99 on Amazon wow. for a thousand kilograms which is the standard roll of filament and the only color that i think you can get at this price is gray i might be wrong on that but i tend to buy this stuff for cosplay projects where i'm painting it anyway so i don't really care and gray is a good color so because you can see it when you sand it you can you can when you prime it it's just gray again and it's just a good base color so unless you're doing something where you need a specific color I tend to find that gray also, and that's a tidbit of information. I tend to find that gray is the best color of filament. It prints the best, it looks the best for when you're trying to um, do the prep work. It's easier to see than some of the other colors. I've bought black as well. I've got some from another company called Duramic that's black. This stuff was also cheap. And to be honest with you, there's gonna be a lot of brands like this that you've never heard of on Amazon that are all gonna be lower priced. I've been sticking with this one because I did not have to change any of my settings for my uh, print settings. This printed with the settings I already had just fine. Um, and I will leave what my settings are in the description. So if you happen to buy this stuff and you have 
any of the Crea Creality printers like an Ender 3 or a CR10, um, I will share my settings so that if you buy this stuff, it will print right out of the box because I've had no issues with this. Um, again, it's $11.99 and I should say that I am not sponsored by this company. Um, they're not giving me any money for saying this. I just really like their filament. It's really cheap. And for a guy like me who has a family and who has other responsibilities and priorities, saving money is really important to me. So this stuff, I've not had any prints fail. It's worked pretty much flawlessly. And I've printed tons of Power Ranger helmets, Ghostbusters parts, you name it. I've printed it and this stuff has held up really well. And I, since I can't afford to buy the bulk, like a lot of people buy it in bulk, especially people who print a lot, you can, can get it cheaper by the roll. If you buy it in bulk, I think you can get it for like seven or $8, maybe even like nine or $10 a roll. But you can't really beat this when you're just buying it here and there, $11 and 99 cents. And that's not a knock on all of the other, you know, higher priced brands that people recommend like Overture and things. It's just, this stuff works just as well, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I will leave a link in the description where you can purchase this. Of course, if you choose to purchase it from that link, I will receive a little bit of kickback from that. So that really helps me and my channel. So if, if you happen to buy it from that link, you don't have to, but if you do, just let you know that it does help me and the channel continue to make content. So if you don't wanna to go to Amazon and spend hours trying to decide on what filament to get, 3D Hojor for $11.99 is the way I would go. Now, I will uh, end this video by saying that someone is going to leave me a comment and tell me that all of these knockoff brands are all going to be actually, I believe Sunlu filament, which is actually a pretty highly regarded brand of filament for most people. So you, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if this is like rebranded Sunlu because the Sunlu stuff is more expensive than this. Um, so if it is, someone can let me know, um, but I don't care. It works good and that's really all I care about. So if that's what you care about, then pick this stuff up and get printing.